I'm doing a public hearing, so I'm not available to.
Camille, are you? Yes, I'm here. I'm just waiting for a couple more people to log in. Okay, because it looks like I'm on our YouTube page and it shows that we're live now public hearing. So it looks like we're streaming. So whenever you want to get started, go ahead. Okay, thank you. All right. Welcome everyone. This is Camelia Hosting, Federal Programs Director with Pinyon Unified School District. And this is our Title VI public hearing for the upcoming um, grant application that we get for our Indian Ed. Um, what we're gonna go through is the data that we had collected over the year. Um, the results from that and how we're using that to drive our budget for the upcoming application. So Valencia Edgewater, our Dines Studies Coordinator, will be assisting us with the presentation. So we'll go ahead and wait a couple more minutes. I'm just waiting for some of our IECs to log in and we'll get the meeting started. But if you guys have questions as we're going through the presentation, um, you're more than welcome to use the comment features and we'll answer the questions as we go along. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this um, meeting started. So today we are actually going to go over the agenda, um, just a quick run through, and it's for our Title VI application. So this one is to disclose how we're going to be utilizing the funding for the upcoming school year, our proposal. So with this one, um, part of the requirements under Title VI is we have to have a public hearing to gather feedback comments from the community that includes our students, our teachers, administrators, um, parents. So the purpose of this meeting is to share what we have collected um, data-wise throughout the year from our Diné Studies program here at Pinion Unified School District. So with this one, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first part of this particular presentation is our JOM needs assessment results. JOM and Title VI go hand in hand. So the data we collect for JOM transfers over into uh, Title VI because that's how we um, pair the particular funding. So with this one, it's data that we collected over the course of the year, uh, getting feedback from parents, community members, and students. So our Diné Studies Coordinator, Valencia Edgewater, um, and of course, Jennifer Baudet, our IEC clerk, our JOM IEC clerk, along with our um, IEC members who participated and collected surveys as the school year went along. So for this one, um, Valencia, if you can go ahead and share with us what you've collected from your assessment collection regarding the needs assessment for 2021. Valencia, are you there? I don't see that she's signed in. Let me see. She might be under PUSD um, staff. Here. Okay, well, let me have her log in again.
Valencia, can you hear me? She isn't on the Zoom meeting and I don't have anyone waiting to add in, so. They are, I'm not sure where they're logged in, but it looks like they have three logged in on a different platform. Angela, Robert, and Jennifer. Huh, everybody's on a different platform. Let me see, hold on. Chris, do you have anybody signing in on your side? The meeting invitation, oh, here's Valencia, so, okay. I just admitted Valencia. Okay. The meeting invitation you sent also had a Google Meets link on it. That doesn't link up with this. So if they're on the Google Meet side of it, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's a um, I don't hear that quite a gee shaho agi. Um, she should the net and shadow as a son of a bush's chin. The arky ani dash a chado tedesh gives me national. I do kodoshan on this is any gay a dinner studies coordinator could ego a biji milagonic at you. I do in the um, uh, you see a bottle tra the never zado the never old eel do a cake na hun edge a the. Uh, I had to go, but but indeed, Nish Nigo, a good ego Asian on this night. A coco, a benache, a a d, um, quagging a hagi, a a co, um, GOM community parent and student needs assessment, a la Adelia, a co d quaggy, um, Danos inigi, total parent and community survey, a kagi. A a tradi noba a hans trant a ya, a quenella, thirty six parents were surveyed. A coco quaggy, a pinion elementary school, do pinion middle school, do pinion high school, a je, a bachina da ostragi, a survey hede villa, a do schlatz a da a a, bachina do quaggy da ostragi a a, a nati kidigi hede villa. A coho, a do kujugo, a nishnajugo, did a Bilaganic at Japai is Nenigi Adigi a um a total student survey is ne a co a a chin a a not the kidigi a bit well ya a coco um a sadden is not ding double on tran a connect lot go a a not the kidigi a hidi la a co not the kidigi a patient's a case a bit. I don't lay how she will yabble gone to get your internet is Nenigi 
how important is it to you all of them that respond at 36 7% I don't the da quagi old cut has ungi, a a codo a nut and tinigi, ye see the nebazado, a old eel, a digi nut and tinigi. Um, instruction time, ye sne, a co a a cut it a hegit, el ain't late, uh, this thing double arch, like the halogen, conzach, a a could ego a nubbit and tinta. Late elementary school, the eight once a week. Um, a quit ego in Abadentian. I don't do middle school, a eh, eh, electives, you know, specials, you know, of course, some of the students take it one semester or one quarter, it just all varies and then they change out. So, out of high school, the a eh, eh, um, this past year, if they chose the class, they were in the Navajo language or culture class. So, not, um, not a kidigi, a the dot jigi, a. A mado je and lengi do community members if nenigi, edigi at zogi, aid, the responses were a uh, majority fall in the 45 minutes every day. A quote, ah, quit gently, this thing don't sh, this thing is la, the hal jinje, and quit ego not in tino shayat or yat eto lay down. I don't do that a chigi, a nhashine, quaggy dolls kagi, aid, a stoa kodane, a co, a in lay. Uh, this what the whole cargo? A conchi? Ah, the shin thought that Dainis ka. A co kodo in the kid. Which Dene study subjects will aid you in being college and career ready? Hat nigo. Hey, de sha. Nle kodananta ha. Ado Navajo language and culture classes. Aji yahananta ha. Hey, de sha. E ye see it's a da ye go lahun ka do was hatne. A coho. Um, the dot ejigi, a amado ja, no sehigi, a digi, those are the responses. Ado se chigi in a hash chin, a cot asha, ash, ash, chich and nigo, a the nebazad, be yat higi, do big it di tigi, hunt and kitchen hunt dot zigi, jo a di igi si done. Ado on the da cone, a a. The nebe old east, bohidish, art no, like Navajo culture, gi, I don't lay the hanet that any da, I don't the ta gone a naked na hanet, Navajo history, yis nenigi, a digi, bohidish, art on it. I don't the academic and or incentive programs. Um, a co arconant eto tejigi a no setigi, a mado ja, ado in the da, tlechigi a nahashin, a quaggy da ostragi. A co um, ashchene, a da nigo a 
college campus visits is never going to get a day that needs and done I don't the career exploration a not niche hot ninigi a then the bin I don't the stem related incentive programs that will um stem related stem a science technology engineering and mathematics a I Ado and all Sethigi and Nigo, a academic incentives, Igi, Ado and the Dabakeda, a chief manualito, yeah, manualiti, Baka, manualito prerequisite courses, Ado and the career explorations, a call, a gi it a. A call, na kigo, a um, assessments in daily. Clae oral Danel language with ya. Ado clae oral Navajo language and culture test standard based assessment. A call acronym, igi, do we own nas. A call, eshi quacky, do a chido, nkis, ishtana dishli. A call, oh, you quacky, a sad, baka. A call, otskin, toshi, nkis, ishtana dishli. Um, Igi Sigi assessment dal Igi a fourth, eighth, and twelfth. A koho the test includes vocabulary. A sa digi hosh ahigi. I don't the oral language production. Hashne la a sa digi ye ye yachti do yiki ti do chios eh oral language production is nenigi. And extended oral language production extended igi a hashn za go a nek at yachti. I see that. Yo, that's a neck at yes, he shan't a beho zin yes. Codo a head of his yes, now just now. A co equa egg assessment digi a good ego. A kate one a six task is ne a co a task one, task two, three, four, five, and six. A co um let's say he gave the uh learners is nigi jo a and hot chin and lingi a. An important vocabulary in non segi, non segi da biji, adon da na gloshi, adon da ha one has ungi, adon da chiyan chiyan has el inigi, ada apis zinigi, ad egi it ego in nabat kido, vocabulary gi yisi, a quaki ses il. Adot na kigone, a knowledge of nouns, verbs, adjectives used to describe age and culturally relevant people, objects. A quodo adola, uh, nabat de kiddo, edo di adola inas ego da ya has now quit ego. I task three is understanding the spoken vocabulary and grammar, um, as well as the le learner's knowledge of specific characteristics and features of Navajo culture. A quodo de nebe old eaten linigi, hashing soko, bis eho zeno, sa da 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 quigo, bis behozen, edo di in general does it he, as he nate nisso, ye yas he. I don't do the task for vocabulary knowledge, cultural awareness and accuracy of pronunciation. Um, I do task five is, you know, vocabulary knowledge, cultural awareness and accuracy of pronunciation. All of these four and five, it just builds on like how much can they respond using or um, using the vocabulary set that they know, their cultural awareness and auto kwaagi yashtiigi, but lagana Quaggy old taggy, what a um at sa da no at sa they sne a jubble gana juggle sa digi a a huggy a deets a a co quit ego does a yast heat the neck at yast heel does a quit ego yast he at sa dene da does a nil a co a stole quaggy says eatle. Auto task six is designed to measure um, a learner's knowledge of vocabulary, grammar, and syntax in addition to specific characteristics so a feature of Navajo culture. Um, it, it, it can also tap into critical thinking skills. So, next. A koko di kwaagi mastery level, la, mastery level scale. A kwaagi level one, level two, level three, four, five. Shlako kwaagi beginning, emerging, developing, Capable and mastery. A co kodo assess a bit del ego, nabat de kiddo, di ado laba had net, but the no ad neck etchida, ado ad neck etchi yahoo's net, or don't sit down a yuit elm, juno yahoo's net, ain't laid level four, level five, oddishing, 
Abe scored only. Codo sad Abelnan ago. So I Edo I see to it is a level one beginning in Gone. In called fourth grade, eighth grade, and twelfth grade. Igi digi it ego um scores igi it eighteen. A coco um dig a nas ego e dot igi eighteen da yostra. Ado the chigi e and say bigi da yostra gi. Aaron does a soggy eight night kids ada, the Yoskaki, a cocoa, D. Endle, do eight, the school year, G. A. Do, do, D. D. Results, do eight, Eda. You will hand down a school year eighteen nineteen, eat um, A. D. Um, don go, a quit ego, a assess a dadia, a cocoa, quaggy, D. Dash, again, lay with yate, Nas bus. So under do quite a gish legend not so gi beginning baka auto emerging auto developing capable and mastery. A co benashni shan beginning it's the do do da do i get it in that it out that sad ah kun shah go da chindi go yah seno don't le shajigo mastery jigo it I see I don't like a sad chi yo in do I don't like it it in he gi a auto ne na chindi gi. A a quaggy dig el kiddigi yahadne. A co dig nash ego. Nahash chin a quaggy da oskaggy. A emerging gunne. Sad ah 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 hashin sogo ye yehos yehos sendo ah ye get it he do ah nut ah hando zigit eight abas nank Allah. A coco os ke hona ah beginning j a i c a i c um. Yehosh, uh, I see Yehosh, ah, uh, Edo die, um, don't get it either. Ado could ego a cake on the mastery, mastery, a quaggy, um, quaggy, she gashed cake it l, ado la bash, neck it l, a quaggy, a could a con hachina, did you not ego and hachina quaggy, that was quaggy. Bizarigi, do do yo chio either, ado in the da. Do yo yah sandala a co a digit of a di yarne. Ado a quaggy is to the next stories night had nigo ebishne a a co a endle um hanet um hanet and linigi a um quaggy bishne a hanle a hatrasi that any gi da edo da a quaggy corn ni kid ne. Ado la hanegi bes bahu zenigi ade wushte da bedi no kwaki bes ne ne a ado a kwaki baus kha dan lenigi da sto a ado la ya ho senigi da hon she ko e ye ni ke is jana inde inde yi in sto a koko na ade kidigi sa ade ya the next story is night nigi hashit ego bonds in case ha isha e yi si ba han ne do le Ha ishe a hanet lenigi she ha e quaggy ne ato le ha no e na de kiddo a delia a coho di nana el do tijigi e a mado je and lingi parents than lingi ado community ado on the da se chigi e e da na chine quaggy da os quaggy a coco a chine e di gi il sa denil da denil e a na chine e a yezin le ma e jol gloje hanegi it's a da a laho, a cut ego a nihil yat, a do a a bit of wheel zat, a mal a sto, but the hoodil ah da no. I don't the dana kigune, a a do la a la bail inigi, da his onda, a do die at sitta, da na igizi el enda, a do die a yo it a sta, a dat enigi, Navajo arts and crafts, it linigi a sto, but the hoodil ah da no. Tragone a the neb nahara ish a benia nahara nahara agi da hazlon do to hold the zinigi do sundas tiki a di bedahodil arsano. Dingone a um a digin de ne jo um a gene da hanegi, your scrape sa da baham a do die um tobajish chinna a that enigi hash a here hash a one a that enigi a stop bedahodil arsano. A co a no sethly gado, a mado jet and lingi, a a a da nigo, a Navajo di tizis lingi digin de ne, 
เออเอ่อเอ่อบ่าอุลตะอะตันเลนกิจอเอเอสนะขะชนะนเดนทิเคนเอ่อโคโฮเอนเลเฮโกเอดิอ่าฮาจีฮาจีเนฮันเนเต
partial salary payments for the teachers or the nest study coordinator, including the benefits. And then other purchase services, we're looking at $6,541. So with this one, um, that entails bringing in presenters and then also, of course, sending out our teachers, our coordinators to conferences, webinars, trainings, those type of um, activities for the upcoming school year. That's what we're looking at. I'll go into detail as to exactly how it's going to be broken out in a couple slides. Um, other purchase services, that has to do with the um, travel. So with that, it includes, you know, travel for the teachers, the lodging, um, those type of activities. That's what it is, reimbursements. And then supplemental supplies. So supplemental supplies is what the students will use in the classroom for our Dennis Studies program. With that, we also have to um, make sure some of the funding is utilized by our ESS program as well. Um, and that is a requirement under Title VI. So altogether, we're looking at about $18,000 for supplemental supplies when some are going to be going directly into an instruction, so into the classroom. Others are going to be for activities that the students can do um, after hours. So that goes back to the Dinner Studies, I mean, the Dinner Story Nights, I'm sorry, uh, those type of activities for the upcoming school year. And of course, that will all depend on how um, things get situated with the COVID, we might have to do um, a different form of activities. And that will be up for discussion um, with Valencia in a little bit as well. And then of course, indirect costs, that's the cost of um, the application for what the district picks up on how um, they can utilize that particular funding for services. So that could go into whatever the district at the district level, what is needed to operate um, the particular school year. So that could go to budgeting for um, maintenance and operation, like before you processing payroll for, you know, it's just how the district utilizes the funding. So with our federal grants, we do budget some of that um, out of indirect cost. So that's how our total amount is broken out for the upcoming school year, the $224,643. So with this, um, when you're looking at how the budget is um, on a pie chart level, more than 50% is going into salaries and benefits. And then of course, indirect costs, supplemental supplies. So that's how the funding um, that we're looking at proposing for the upcoming school year is to be utilized. And with this one, it's more detailed here um, when it comes to Navajo literacy. For example, um, the two positions we have at the elementary, the, I'm sorry, that should be Navajo language and culture. I need to update that. But it's for the, the two teachers that teach the Navajo language and culture at the elementary. And, and as you can see, 0.67% of their salary is funded under Title VI. The other portion, the 0.33 is coming from JOM. So they're split funded and the upcoming school year, that's the salaries, the partial salaries for the two teachers, including their benefits, how it's um, gonna be paid out. This is a projection of course, and then supplemental instructional supplies. So 12, at that 18,000 I mentioned earlier, 12,000 of that is gonna go into instruction, which is in the classroom. Um, and of course, this is also shared with our ESS department as well. So here, um, that's what we have projected for the upcoming school year. And then our Dinesh Studies Coordinator, um, her benefits and salaries is budgeted into the application. So that's where, with her oversight, um, she's helping the Dinesh Studies program get started, uh, working on the immersion program that we're uh, gonna have for our kindergarten class coming up. Um, in the following school year, aligning the curriculum and that uh, particular type of activities. And then of course, organizing the presentations, bringing in culture, um, culture or language presenters to the classroom or into the district to provide those type of activities and services, not only to the students, but also to the staff and the community. Um, and then the instructional supplies, the so supplemental instructional supplies, of course, for our ESS. And this is to help them 
um, with hands-on activities where we can, for example, if they're interested in beading and linking that to the culture component or pottery, that is where uh, the, mon the money is set aside for those type of activities. And the same thing with our supplies for related student activities. For this particular portion, it's for the after school component um, where students, when the presenters come in, um, they can have those supplies and resources available for them to use to finish those type of activities. So previous years, we um, looked at loom, weaving looms, little small ones that are portable that the students can use. We brought in a consultant to go through the entire process with the history um, on how to set up the loom, the origin stories with Spider Woman, all of that was um, presented to the students and the parents and they had the hands-on experience with the weaving looms and that's how we were able to take up some of that under uh, Title VI. And then of course the contractual that's the presenters coming into the district. Um, and typically we try to use those local in our community. We have a lot of elders who are really knowledgeable in a wide range of activities. So they can do presentations related to food demonstrations or, you know, oral history. Um, and of course, for more specialized type of activities, interactive activities, um, if we can't find it locally, we do go out further into the community and bring those presenters into the district. And the PD registration, this particular component right here, the 1700 and the 1500, that's for our, for our teachers to utilize to go off site for or on site to do PD. And just because of the current situation with COVID-19, we are looking more at online type of presentations. So that could be webinars, um, conferences that are available to um, the teachers to attend. That is what we're, we're looking at flipping the budget for that to where um, just to keep our teachers safe that they utilize the online component a little bit more for the upcoming school year. And the same thing with our um, coordinator uh, down here on the bottom, the, 18th, the 1800 and the 1500, that is for the coordinator. And of course, um, any district level administrator or principal, if there's um, based on the assessment, if there's trainings that is really um, detailed to where it, they need the support of another admin, that's where the, the money can come from as well to send those particular individuals to trainings. So that's how we have the 22, the 224,000 budget out for the upcoming school year. Um, for the contractual presentations, uh, Valencia, can you go ahead and give a brief review of what we had provided so far um, for the 1920 school year and what we're looking at bring, to bring in for the 2021. This is for contractual services? Yes, the consultants that are coming in that okay. we were requesting, you know. So last school year, um, we had, um, we did a, a really good, uh, really nice uh, trip to Denetra where we went to the Chol e -e and the Sna Odehi, and we paid the uh, consultants there, which are traditional practitioners, um, one local, and then Ado Shiyaj Avery Denny. So, quite again, We took students there and we uh, toured the site. We learned some of the stories, and then we also learned a few songs. So, that was a two day trip. The other uh, was the shoe game and then uh, cultural presentations from various um, knowledge holders. From the community and that's who we um we consulted with this coming school year um i you see i you see do your bell zenda because g d e not do see me do hoogie a dollar at lv edition a d e nash nihiki josh do it any key nash nihiki that's a start with yeah yo a quite in the hands me don't lay a chin and that's a quite key old tragi hanada astra hola do hojo bell zenda De um, they adole Taida and they beige be hane, adole and dal kitla, Pilagonic at your Facebook, Nenigi, Ajibi, J. O. Hui, um, 
den Bault hat dann le, Tlai an le, ad bezadi, ja dacht, hi, ado, er, er, old, in Higi Hashin, so over später Hasen. A co, a, ein le, di, beige behane, je, beige, um, be, ado le, Hanegi, do, senigita, aje, ik, in daini, so hot ego, e, yin de, de, chi, a co, a quit, a conod, nin go, e, I don't, codosa, um, are the quishing, quit ego, a das, enigi, um, I don't, that bitch, sad not, I give that a bitch, a dash, a co, a, ado, la, le, ha, ida, chinas, nas, nas, kiddigi, ado, shultan, jonigi, a, a bitch, a dash, la, le, next school year, chinan, yahana, jail. This name the Yahando Jata, a whole lot of the Behazenda. De a aj, a um, we might use that funding to support, uh, or not to support, but to um, hire consultants that can release online webinars and videos about, you know, storytelling, uh, various storytelling, traditional knowledge, um, as well as um, um, winter stories. So it we are thinking, or I'm planning, um, and been contacting people of doing things digitally, so that we could also reach more people um, within the community. Thank you, Valencia. So for this one, um, does anybody have any questions for us at this point as to what we covered relating to any of the data or to the budget? Um, if there is, uh, you're more than welcome to utilize the chat box. If you, if you guys, the participants have any questions, share that with us and then we can answer them. Um, we'll give everybody a few minutes just to see if there's any questions we need to clarify or any ideas. Um, that's something we're looking for as well, feedback from everybody who's in attendance. Okay, I don't see any, oh wait, there is a question. Will the Nest Studies teachers be able to order, tech, I'm assuming that's technology supplies for online classes? So that would be, um, it would depend, of course. With that, I recommend that you talk with Valencia because there are some we already had some discussions as to what we are going to look at purchasing, uh, not equipment, but supplies if it relates to um, headsets or something like that for the Zoom, the online meetings, that is something we can definitely look at for the upcoming school year. On the previous screen, can you, can you go back to the previous screen, please? Um, you had the different amounts of money that were broken down there. Um, I didn't quite understand the indirect cost. What was that one again, please? Oh, indirect cost is what the district takes for the operation. Um, so at the district level, that district cost, they can use it to you know, partially fund payroll salaries for people to, you know, for our payroll to process the timesheets and whatnot that goes towards our dentist studies program. Or it could be the processing fees for getting our purchase orders um, out and then having the checks processed through county. So indirect costs, it's at the district level as to how they utilize that basically on their site for the operation cost of running the district. Um, 
And with this one, it's the Dine Studies. So anything that relates to Dine Studies with the business office, our business manager, with how he breaks it out, that's what he can pull from to help keep the program running. Thank you. Then we did have a question regarding webcams. Um, we are currently looking at some of those. Valencia is working on that. Um, there are some free online resources that she is currently um, putting a list of together. And I believe all of the computers that we currently have um, is what we have to start out with. There are cameras there. Um, that we can use as well, but that is in development and Valencia is currently working on it. And of course that information will be ready to go um, when you guys, when the teachers do come back in July and all of that information will be shared at that time. Any other questions? Okay, if we don't have any more questions, I invite you guys to, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a tally of who is in support of the budget the way it's laid out. So um, if you could use your thumbs up feature in the Zoom meeting, if you agree with this proposal, go ahead and do that now. And with that, um, so those who are in agreement, use your thumb up feature. Those who are not in agreement, do the thumb down. Those are the only two options. <laughs> so if you guys could utilize that would be great. And once those are completed, we are, we are done. Or you can comment, I guess, um, in the chat box. If it's a thumbs up, that's great as well. Angela, the thumbs up icon is, if you hover over the screen, you'll it'll pop up at the bottom. If not, just type in, in the chat box the thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay, good to see I got thumbs up from Angela, Peter, Crystal, Robert, Peter, Pam, Chris, and Angela. So that's it. Thank you guys for attending our public hearing via Zoom. Just expect more of these in the upcoming school year. Um, we will have, just a side note, we are gonna have our JOM IEC meeting on January, I'm sorry, June 1st at 4 p.m. with a Title VI meeting as well. So you guys, when that um, link goes out, you're more than welcome to attend and participate. But otherwise, we, that is all for our public hearing today, unless if you guys have any more questions. Okay, thank you guys. Have a good evening. Thank you.